This jacket is second hand, so somebody wore it before me, and they were serious. <laughs> I don't really know much about the 80s or exercise, but uh, about two months before the 80s became the 90s, my parents conceived me. So that was exercise in the 80s that directly caused my existence. Yeah. <laughs> When I think of Suzanne Summers, I think of one of television's silliest sitcoms, Three's Company, which I credit f for my love of dramatic irony. Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne Summers was one of three stars in Three's Company until 1981, when she suddenly demanded a huge salary increase from $30,000 per episode to $150,000 per episode, plus 10% of the show's profits. Fearing a dip in popularity if she were absent, ABC executives kept her on the show, but she only appeared briefly in a handful of episodes that season. Her contract was not renewed, and her character, Chrissy, was replaced. Oh. The thigh master and butt master spokeswoman and author of four diet books turned 65 in October. On her birthday, she tweeted, quote, I asked my husband what it's like to sleep with a 65-year-old woman. He said, I don't know. I've never done it. End quote. <laughs> I assume that right after that tweet was posted, they, have, they had some fantastic old people birthday sex. <laughs> unfortunately, there was no follow-up tweet to confirm this. <laughs> the following is an excerpt from a celeb itchy interview with Suzanne in which she was asked to describe a typical morning in her life. <laughs> quote, Every morning, I awaken to the smell of my husband's delicious strong coffee. While it's brewing, he goes outside when the weather is nice and picks a lemon off our tree and squeezes a half lemon into a glass of water. It's a great way to get your liver started for the day. <laughs> I watch the morning shows, usually news, while I do email. <laughs> Use my face master, parenthesis, my non-surgical facelift machine, close parenthesis, Take my daily fiber and probiotics, a must for gut health and regularity. I rub on my hormone creams and start taking some of my supplements. <laughs> my yoga teacher comes four days a week, and if it's an off day, I do my own version of yoga and run in place with the waist strap attached to my easy gym. So much fucking product placement. Somewhere in my daily ritual, we have delicious sex. <laughs> We are both on natural hormone replacement, and it really stirs up the juices. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> Likely the least known fact about Suzanne Summers is that in 1980 she published a book of poetry. It's out of print, so I called every half-price book within 25 miles. But no one had it in stock. Nobody had ever even heard of it, but every person I spoke to was equally as intrigued by the idea of Suzanne Summers' heart having been spilled onto the pages of a book. I checked Amazon where a copy in mint condition was available for $125.20. The seller described the item as unused and in excellent condition. Satisfaction guaranteed. Unused. Satisfaction guaranteed. So, as long as you don't read it, you're gonna love it. <laughs> I was able to find her poem, Touch Me, also the name of the book. <laughs> Got a fan. This is for you, baby. <laughs> Silent places where words only interfere. <laughs> In sad places where only whispering makes sense. <laughs> Touch me in the morning when night still clings. At midday when confusion crowds upon me. <laughs> At twilight as I begin again to know who I am. In the evening. When I see you and hear you, best of all, touch me like a child. For I am a girl who wants to be lost in your arms. 
A woman who has known enough pain to love. A mother who sometimes is strong enough to give. <laughs> Touch me in crowds. <laughs> what a single look says everything. <laughs> in solitude, when it's too dark to even look. In absence, when I reach for you through time and miles. <laughs> Touch me in winter, when darkness comes early, and the softness of fur surrounds my face. <laughs> in summer, when the sun makes me languid, and water laps at my feet. In spring, when lovers come alive. <laughs> in fall, when the woods call to wanderers, and dry leaves make softest pillows. Touch me when I ask, when I'm afraid to ask. Touch me with your lips, your hands, your words, your presence in the room. <laughs> Touch me gently, for I'm fragile. <laughs> Firmly, for I'm <am> strong. <laughs> Often, for I'm alone. <laughs> Touch me, not like a cat. <laughs>